Yo, how's it going guys? It is JBHD here and welcome back to a brand new video. And it's a Q&A. Q&A. 1K Q&A on a Saturday. Call me Eminem because I'm repping the mic. There will be one point I will realise how weird I really am. But yeah guys, today I will be answering some of your questions that you've left on my videos. But really quick, just one minute, one minute. <sighs> so much more comfortable. I, I don't even know why I put it on, I just thought. Yeah. Look guys, it's got a rip in the crotch. Oi oi, what does that tell you? <laughs> Calm down, Tiger. So yeah guys, let's get answering some of your questions. And if you enjoyed today's video, then don't forget to hit that like button. Let's go. Are you English? What a, what a great start to the Q&A. Am I English? Never had someone ask me if I'm actually English, but um, yeah, I'm English, but I just speak with an Irish, kind of Irish accent. I came from Dam. And Jay, where are you from? They obviously meant they're from Adam's channel, just in case you didn't know that. Uh, but yeah, where am I from? I am from Bolton. Right now, I live in Bolton in the northwest of England, but I did previously live in Ireland in Derry. So there you go. Question answered. Amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. I am so bad at these Q&As. Congrats on a thousand subscribers. Q&A, what made you start a YouTube account? Thank you. What made me start a YouTube account? That's such a good question. But I'll never forget the day I remember just thinking that I wanted to do YouTube. Any of you have ever watched Road to Shaw? Watching one of these videos, he was going to New York for like a gaming event, like a FIFA gaming event. And just to see how much fun he was having in front of the camera and the way he vlogged and these challenges. But it just felt like I had a personality that I wanted to show people and I wanted to make people laugh and I wanted to make people enjoy my videos like I enjoyed his. So that's what made me start a YouTube account. God, I made that question so long. Well done, Jay. Won't be long before you reach 2,500. Good luck. Q&A, what inspired you to do YouTube and did you have any other old accounts before this one? First off, I just want to say a big thank you. That really does mean a lot. When I see comments like that, it, it really, really does mean a lot. And that's why I try to reply to every single one of you guys when you comment. What inspired me to do YouTube and did I have any other old accounts? Well, I never, ever, ever had a YouTube account in my life. This is the only YouTube account I've had. And what inspired me to do YouTube, like I said before, just to, just to see how the YouTubers made you feel when you were watching them. I wanted to do that for other people. I wanted to make them smile, I wanted to make them laugh. And I just enjoy doing YouTube in general, like just doing the challenges. It sounds weird, but yeah, I just enjoy doing it. Hopefully you all do laugh. That's why I'm a complete idiot. Like if you ever see me off camera, I'm exactly the same. Just as stupid. <laughs> My question for your next video is Ireland or England, which would you rather live in? Advantages and disadvantages. Okay, Ireland or England. Lived here longer, but I was born in Ireland. I grew up in Ireland, all my family's from Ireland, well most of all my family's from Ireland, so it's gonna be Ireland. Don't get me wrong, I really like England because I've got all my mates here as well, but yeah, I like Ireland. Advantages and disadvantages, to be fair, they're, they're, they're not far off each other. Advantages is over here, I've got all my mates now, so I've got all my mates, I know all the places, I know some of the people or most of the people around here, so I'm comfortable in that way. They're both the same. Disadvantage is when I go to Ireland, I don't have any mates, but then again, I'm with family. This is such a bad Q&A. I am so sorry. You are my third favourite YouTuber. And what are the tattoos on your arms and what do they stand for? I'll be the first favourite YouTuber soon. But honestly, thank you for your kind comments again. It really does mean a lot. And to answer your question, tattoos my arm, what do they stand for? I've got two stars. I've got everything happens for a reason, reason in Irish Gaelic. I've got the clock and roses, I've got the crown, and then I've got that on my chest as well. They all stand for different things, some of them are personal and some of them are just because I like the design. Q&A, do you work outside of YouTube or go to college slash university? Yes, I do work outside of YouTube, I, I actually have a full-time job. When I'm not doing that, I'm doing this, like I'll be working and then when I get in from work, I'll make a video, I'll edit it and then I'll get it ready for the next day so you guys all can see it. So yes, I do work outside of YouTube. Yay. Q&A. Will you visit Ireland again? Second. How old are you? Yes, I will visit Ireland again. Um, probably before this year is up, I'll visit again. How old am I? Um, I can't, I can't remember. I've not looked at my birth certificate for a while. Can't get enough of your videos. Q&A. Who's your favourite YouTuber? Again, thank you. Really does mean a lot. Um, favourite YouTuber would be, at the moment, Stephen Tries. If you've never seen his videos, oh my god. They are hilarious, like, I, I literally love them so much. It would be amazing if I could do a video with him in the future, that would be great. Q&A, please do a Gummy V Real Food Challenge. Now, I was thinking about this, 
And then I looked at the prices for buying human sized gummy bears and I was like, nope. But yeah, honestly guys, um, I would like to do it. I'd give it a go, like get some of the, the, the big bears and the big cola bottles and all that stuff that they've got and um, do a challenge, it would be funny. I'm, I'm sure I'll do something like that in the future. Even if it's not trending, I'll still do it because it's entertainment for you guys. And if you guys are happy, I'm happy. Yeah boy. q and how big is your penis? I've not got enough tape left. What does that tell you? Oh my god, that nearly took my finger off. Have you ever seen a pumpkin? Yeah, it's like, it's like that. And that is it guys, Q&A done and dusted. I will do another Q&A in the future. So if you leave your comments on any of my videos, I will look at them and I'll put them in the video for my next Q&A if you've missed this Q&A. If I've not answered your questions, I'm really sorry. I, I will do it again, just let me know and I'll do a Q&A in the future. But thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I hope you got to learn a little bit more about me. It's nice to sit down. It feels weird being in the quiet with a camera on and not doing any challenges and not screaming in pain or having marks on my body. Nice and calm, but I don't like it. It's weird at the same time. I'd rather be doing a challenge. That's just how weird I really am. I'd rather be doing a challenge in a QA. and a Like, what does that tell you about me? So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, like I said at the start of it, hit that like button. Also, comment. Like seeing your guys' comments and seeing the likes of my videos, it really, really does help me a lot. It just shows me that you guys are enjoying them. It shows me that you appreciate them. I appreciate you all so much. Everyone who comments, even if you don't comment and you're watching my video, I, it really does mean a lot. Also guys, if you're seeing my face on your screen for the first time and you are thinking, why is he doing a Q&A in a Spider-Man outfit? Then subscribe, because it just shows I'm full of surprises. I'm webtacular, spectacular, but web, because like Spider-Man cheats webs kill myself. Let's get to 2,500 if you want to see one of the big challenges like I did last week. And I will see you in my next video. It's been JBHD. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a good day and goodbye.